If you have to choose between somebody like Wozniak or somebody like Jobs for your team, who would you pick? We'll look at that question in this first episode for AI in Business 101, a video series with tips from companies who are successful embracing AI. You can get access to all the videos in this series, uh, including another one focused on the technology here, and you can follow me on LinkedIn for, for new videos. Okay, so let's get started. Wozniak versus Jobs. What is, what is really that question about? There are usually two types of organizations when they are embracing AI. You will find one type, which is the Wozniak type. Wozniak, as you remember, was the technical brain behind Apple. So he would look at the technology capabilities first, and then he would think of the business scenarios to apply those capabilities. This is, this is supposed to be a t-shirt <laughs> representing Wozniak, by the way. I got a terrible drawer, be aware of that. Uh, so the org chart for, for this type of organization will, will look like something like this. You will have the different business units. Uh, this could be departments like, I don't know, marketing, sales, HR, or they could be different products, uh, P&Ls, uh, whatever. But then when embracing AI, a Wozniak type organization will create a new department to centralize all the AI development. And they usually call it something like a center of excellence, or in our case, uh, we can call it the AI team, which sounds super cool because it reminds me the A team. So I'm gonna paint this, this van. <laughs> this is going to be the bad joke of the video, and I will try to keep this to a minimum. <laughs> Sorry. So this AI team is centralizing everything that has to do with AI. The business units will go to this AI team for any AI related project. In a sense, they will throw things over the wall to this team. And I'm sure that, that you know what I mean, that you've seen this before. Then you have the jobs approach. Jobs was like the creative business mind behind Apple. And in, in his case, he would think about the experience first, about the business first, and then he would find the technology to make it happen. So the org chart in this case will look different. We, we still have the different business units, but in this case, we will ask every business unit to lead their own AI transformation. That means that they will, they will need some smaller AI teams inside uh, or outsourcing it externally. Uh, those would be like these uh, red boxes that you, can, that you can see here. Each approach has its own problems. In the Wozniak approach, the technology-centric approach, it's super tricky because you have the AI team being a bottleneck and it's very difficult to connect it to the business because, because there are different teams. And then in the jobs approach, the business-centric approach, it's very difficult to scale because every business unit will need to become an expert on AI. And, and that's crazy, especially given how complex uh, AI is and the fact that it's, it's not an established technology yet. So it's always changing and it's, re it's requiring deep technical skills. So with, with this approach, it's, it's also very difficult to share the technology and those skills across the company because it will be distributed across all the business units. So it's, it's like everybody for, for themselves. So what I, what I usually see in companies uh, that are successful in AI is, is actually a hybrid between these two approaches. You still have an AI team, but it's not a go-to team anymore uh, that you throw things over the wall. Instead of that, the business units are accountable for their own AI transformation. And the AI team is, is going to support that transformation, empowering them instead of just taking all the work. This approach requires two main things. First, it requires the AI team to, to change their, their mindset. So instead of taking projects from the business, they have to provide a platform for the business to embrace AI. That's why I call this AI as a platform, because the AI team in this case is more like a platform providing services to the business units. The other thing that you need is for the business units to be accountable of this AI transformation. And that's critical. If the business units think that AI is not something for them, that, that they are not on point for, for it, 
then they are not going to be encouraged to embrace and lead AI. And it's, it's going to be like a bunch of AI pilots that are created by the AI team, but with no connection, with no applicability at all to the business. So, and, and also very limited to a few use cases. We're going to call that nature, the fact that the business has to be part of the AI transformation, the AI culture because it, it really requires a culture transformation involving every business unit and every employee in the company. So here's another, another way of looking at this, at this culture. You can, you can visualize the culture by saying that you are going to have the business and the technology working together. The business will be looking at AI like top down. So from the business to the technology, like, like jobs. Then you are going to have the AI team the other way around. They're going to be looking at AI bottom up. So from the technology to the business, like, like Bosniak. So both are going to be working together in a continuous cycle. So they are partnering on the, the ideation of the scenarios that they want to target. And then the implementation of those scenarios in quick iterations where they develop the solution together, the business and technology, they move it to production and they learn by monitoring the solution continuously. In the next videos, we are going to see in more detail how to implement that cycle. In the next one, we will see how you can explore ideas using this top-down, bottom-up approach. And then we will also explore the implementation in several videos in a cycle that is called MLOps. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, remember that you can watch these videos and the equivalent for technology at aka.ms slash AI101. And you can follow me in LinkedIn at aka.ms slash David C. Thank you.